Somebody asked me this the other day, so I'm gonna ask you. What would you average in the game today? If I if 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 I averaged thirty, I lost the scoring title title to Kobe. The year he averaged thirty five, I averaged I averaged thirty three. Man, and I'm just thinking, thinking like if if I was to play in this area where it's wide open, if I can average thirty three in a season, I'm gonna just take it up to forty three. Mm. Welcome back to Forte Sports. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a like for the algorithm that does help the channel grow. So as you heard Alvin Iverson say that if he played in today's game, he would average 43 points a game. And there was a lot of people talking on ESPN. I think the first conversation we heard on that first day was Brian Windhorst and Tim Leckler. And they saw it from an analytical Standpoint. And I was very surprised from Tim Tim Legler. Very surprised with his answer because he referred to um, Allen Iverson shooting mid range jumpers, the u the usage rate that he would have to have in today's game. I was very surprised with his take of going the analytical route. And that's the day we. This is today that we live in the analytical route. And they didn't really look at um, the perspective of the time when he played when it was a more physicality type defense being played on him, big man. Um, you even heard Shaq on this podcast when he had, he told Alvin Iverson, I remember when you used to come in the lane on me and you kept you kept coming coming at me. And Alvin Iverson said, yeah, I'm just gonna throw it up to the ceiling on him. And he said that, and I remember that when he used to just run up on big men. Like this was a time when Alvin, Alvin Iverson played when they had two big men in the game. He's the smallest guy on the court. He's still running up in there. Was not scared. Go look at the highlights. And my my thing is, you're putting him, Tim Legler and all of them saying that. You're putting him in this era where it's small ball. You got the tallest, the center is going to be six foot, what, eight, nine. You don't think Al Iverson's going to keep going in that lane? You think he's just going to stick to mid-range? Al Nyerson. Al Nyerson, please. That's going to be. I, I was surprised Shaq didn't say it. Barbecue chicken. It's going to be barbecue chicken, man. He was averaging 33 points when they had two big men. There was no spacing at all. Just sitting in that paint. You mean to tell me when you put him in this era, when they're spacing, you got the, um, the pick and roll that they like to do now. Well, you're going to put a mismatch. They're going to switch and put a mismatch on Al Nyerson. You don't think he's going to break them down? People talk about Kyrie Irving. We talking about a small guard that led a team to an NBA Finals. Like Candace Parker talking about Jalen Brunson, a small guard, can't lead nobody to the Finals. This one did. Al Nyerson definitely did. Even though he lost, he got that team to the Finals. Small guard. We have not seen anything like that since of a small guard leading a team to the NBA Finals. Came close with Trey Young. Came close with Trey Young that year when they lost to the Bucks. But other than that, it's been it's been uh, it's been West's face. Al Iverson. Al Iverson was a, a freak of nature to be able to do that. And I believe yes, he would average that in today's game. A, a, a guy of his stature was able to do that at a time like that when you had big men all over the place you you i mean you the physicality of the of, of the guys back then was rough and today's game is soft and you putting him in today's game that, that that's barbecue chicken man but they looked at it from an analytical route which a lot of people are going to look at instead of looking at the era that he played in when it was when you had all that going on right then right then and there and he put on a show man 33 points a game Kobe Bryant you had Vince Carter Tracy McGrady and all them yeah you had Shaq them sitting in that middle he wasn't scared man you put him in today's game small ball and that pick and roll and spacing barbecue chicken barbecue chicken especially especially with the small ball in the uh, pick and roll that they like to do like the switch they like to switch um the poorest defender on a person Al Iverson would have ate that up man he would have ate that up but post comments let me know what you guys thoughts on it um do you 
Do you disagree with Brian Winhorse and Tim Legler with their analytical perspective on it? Or do you agree with me and some others who are saying we're looking at the how what era, you know, he played in that era and you put him in this. Yeah, man, it would have been barbecue chicken. He probably would have he probably would have averaged 40, 41, 42, probably 43 as well, like he said. But post comes, let me know what you guys think.